players are gathering on the field. It's time for Ferret Bowl 2014. That was a pretty exciting game. The first time we're seeing a competition of this magnitude. There are our contestants today. We've got Bear, Panda, Snuggles, and Twiggy, all champions in their own right. And the game is off. Snuggles first to touch the ball, moves away from it, trying to form a plan of attack. Panda gets right, right on Snuggles' back, and they're all moving away from the, the field of play, leaving Bear alone with the ball, presumably, but all three are moving far, far away. And just so you know, our halftime show will feature special guests Goofy and Paul. And here we're back in the action. Twiggy makes a pass to the ball, but decides to leave it alone for the time being. Still not quite ready to take that plunge. And Snuggles has got the ball the first to actually take possession and kicks it away. Does some celebratory hops there. And Twiggy gets it on the action too. Now Snuggles is a champion player here, one of our most vigorous contestants. Born in 2010, only four years old, and yet still a major player here today. It looks like Bear has gotten some, some attention. He's, he's on the ball now. Oh, and Snuggles has chased Bear away. Bear has actually jumped over the goalpost in an effort to get away from Snuggles. Vicious tackle. Twiggy also deciding not to go for the ball at the moment. Bear comes in. Bear, Bear decides to go away as well. You know, sometimes it's hard to really get a feel for the, the ball and the field of play. Snuggles is having a, having a hard time picking up. Panda gets in on the action. They're, they're circling around the ball. Bear has possession. Bear has possession of the ball, folks. And he's taking it the wrong way. Taking it away from the goalpost. You know, that's, that's a... That's a choice that he made on the field today, and uh, we're not sure why he made it, but he's going to have to talk with his coach about that after the fact. He had a clear run at the goal, chose to run the other direction. Bear, uh, newest player on the field today, also the biggest, comes to us from Notre Dame. And time for the halftime show now, featuring the lovely and talented Goofy the King Vulture. My God, look at those moves. Any Lady King Vultures in the crowd today? Calm down, he's taken. And a visit from a good friend of ours over in the Australasia exhibit, it's Paul. Paul is a longtime veteran of all sorts of sports competitions. He's uneligible for the ferret ball, being that he is a tree kangaroo and not a ferret. But look, look at that precision handling. He swaps the ball away, doesn't want that one. Yes, I'll take that one, he says grabs a hold of it, and once he has possession of the ball, folks, Paul has possession of the ball. You too can help Paul play ball by contributing to a new exhibit for Paul here at Roger Williams Park Zoo. And now, back to the main event. It's Ferret Bowl 2014. We've yet to put any points on the board, but all of our challengers are really excited, raring to go. Snuggles and Twiggy having a bit of an altercation right now on the field. Not sure what's being said between them, but Snuggles has been ejected from the game. The refs have had to step in and separate Snuggles and Twiggy. Whatever happened out there, the refs didn't like it, and uh, Snuggles is currently taking a timeout, leaving Twiggy free reign of the ball. And all three of them are preparing to make their final attempt. Twiggy and Panda coming down. Twiggy and Panda having an altercation now. Panda's chasing Twiggy away from the field of play, trying to make a clear run at the ball. Gets the ball, walks right over it. Oh, and back into the altercation. Panda is a real scrapper. Another four-year-old player doing a little celebratory dance now. And Twiggy decides the ball is not for her right now. Goes back, decides, no, not today. And tackles Panda, folks! That was an amazing tackle. Decided to leave the ball as bait, and wham! There comes that tackle. It was good form, except for all the biting. The refs may have to rule on that a little later, but for now, it looks like it was considered a clean hit. That's Twiggy, a, a vicious competitor here. Another four-year-old. And... And Panda is sitting on the ball right now. Classic maneuver. Hide the ball from your opponents by sitting right on top of it. Snuggles has found it, though. Snuggles deciding what to do with it. Bear comes in, muscles Snuggles out of the way. Bear being the biggest competitor, able to get in there. Use that bulk to move the other players out of the way. Twiggy coming through from behind. And all of them have ignored the ball. Oh, Snuggles has our touchdown, folks. It's our first touchdown of the game. Our first and only score goes to Snuggles, celebrating with Panda out there on the field. Folks, that is exactly the kind of sportsmanship and athletic prowess we were hoping to see here today. Thank you for joining us for Ferret Bowl 2014.